everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, the camera keeps stopping and going there. Yellowstone. Oh, they moved the camera. They were looking at um, Lioness Geyser there a minute ago. And it was raining earlier. Supposed to get some high winds. Um, well, if you call it high winds, about 40 miles an hour there today. There was an earthquake there by Taiwan that really shook up the caldera at Yellowstone earlier. They're not reporting any earthquakes there at Yellowstone today. So let's take a look. This is the earthquake, um, a magnitude 6.3. It was really deep. 113 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. Okay, let's go to the spectrogram. That's uh, the seismic signature. You can see it was deep. And there, I got four different monitors that are working. We got uh, borehole 206 here on the left. Holmes Hill, second from the left. Maple Creek and western boundary on the far right here we have the helio plots as it came in there at uh, taiwan 36 people sent in reports to usgs did you feel it um, saying they felt it and they gave it an intensity level of four here it is at russia new guinea a lot of the uh, different monitors aren't working uh, midway island in the united states australia Oh, Japan, mm, another one from Australia, another one from Russia. And then going to Google Earth, there's location. This was caused by subduction. Let's bring this out so you can see. Okay, what we got is the uh, Philippine plate, um, the East China Sea. Yeah, it's subducting under there. See that? We'll bring it out a little bit more. Yep, really shook up Yellowstone. Let's go to the western boundary and I'll make that one larger. Yeah, see how it sloshed around? Yeah. And we'll go back to the spectrogram. Yeah, there's the line of melt there. And we got another one a little bit farther up. There was other earthquakes, but USGS is not reporting them. Um, I don't know. This is probably... I don't know. Let's look at the seismic signature. 1530 universal time. It's got a long P wave on it. Okay. And then we got another one right there at 1719 universal. It only really shows up there at the western boundary. Okay, we got lots of activity here at Maple Creek. Yeah, look at that. Let's make that one larger. And I'll bring it down for you. Look at that. Let's take a look at the seismic signature. Yeah. Oh, it went small on me, didn't it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Volcanic tremors. Okay. And it'll go small on me again, wouldn't it? There we go. Volcanic tremors. Maple Creek. Yeah, this is near the Madison River area. Here we have the borehole 208 during that same time frame. Yeah, a lot of activity was going on. Look at that. All the little pockets of melt. And this is what it was showing when I... Oh, look at that. When I pulled the files, again, this is the bore hole. Oh, yeah, those that are new and those have been following me. You'll recognize that. Yeah, we got the screw waves again. Yeah. Okay, let's do the spectrogram. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, well, that's got sharpened points. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's pull that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's pull that tectonic. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it since the last time I reported that. Yeah. And we'll go down here. Okay. 
Again, this is the borehole. It's a very deep well under the ground, so it only picks up what is happening under the ground. I don't see anything marked in red. All right, let's check this out again. Yeah, that's interesting. Down over here that it's showing that. It's been going on for, well, 45 minutes. Um, not quite an hour when I pulled the files. All right, Holmes Hill. Let's see what the seismic signature shows here. Uh, I hate that when it goes little. Okay, well, oh, there's some popping. We've got some popping. Yeah, I've talked about this before where the ground gets so brittle that, yeah, it can't um, bend. Yeah. All right, let's go back there. Extract that, yeah. Okay, do I see? Well, it's hard to see if you can see anything else. We got another one there. And that's a spectrogram. We got one, two, three lines of melt that are fairly close. Mm. We got another one there. But that's not the popping. Those are regular small earthquakes, see? It had only started within the last hour. Okay. And again, this is Holmes Hill. I wanted to go back to this and see. Let's see if we can see what the seismic signature is showing. Okay. I've talked about how the magma is coming up from the, the plume. And it's spreading horizontally. Yeah. Yeah. Slow moving. Um, they often call them quiet tremors. Because it's not a distinct pop of the ground. It just starts out quiet and then, you know, continues for quite a while. Yeah, slow moving tremors. But look at the heat. And again, this is Maple Creek. Did I tell you that? Maple Creek. Yeah, look at that. And yeah, the pockets of melt. Okay. And the western boundary. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's showing the same stuff. Yeah, that's quite a lot of heat that came up there. We got this one marked in red. If I have the right spot, looks like I do. Okay, close this out and look at what else might be showing. There's that one. We got a little one right here. And some more little ones right there. And there, and one off on the side, you probably can't see it, where I got the, oops, let me pull this over, right there, oh, there's actually two there, let me bring it up, yeah, yeah, earthquakes around the world um, do affect the calderas of different places. And let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, you can see it went, let's see, it started probably about here with that popping. There you can see that. We'll go to the spectrogram. Yeah, um, 1954 universal time. So that would have been, what time? 1.54 p.m. local time. And then this one, um, 2012. So that would have been 2.12 p.m. local time. I'm trying to find this here. There we go. Yeah, 1936. So that would have been 1.36 p.m. Uh, 20.05. So that would have been 2.05 p.m. Going back to the borehole, look how shallow these lines of melt are. Yeah, how close they are to the surface. Look at that. Yeah, borehole 208. So that would be the borehole by the fishing bridge here at Yellowstone Lake. Um, I don't have a West Thumb. West Thumb is not working today. Okay. Okay. Let's just bring this over. This is uh, the last 45 minutes when I was pulling the files. 
Yeah, look at that. I'll just keep coming over. E oops, went off the line. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, yeah, I need a ruler. Someone suggested one time a ruler. Okay, we'll go back to the, yeah, seismic signature. Go back to the, yeah. All right, I want to do Holmes Hill. See what that was showing. It's showing it deeper. Pull it over. Yeah, see, that was earlier. And this is at the very end. Yeah. And Maple Creek. Uh, you know, the different trolls will come on and they'll say, oh, it's because it's been raining there at Yellowstone. Well, you wouldn't have that activity for a borehole. Um, let's see. Do I have it? No, I don't. I do have borehole 207 for the Madison River area, but this is a good example of how deep uh, these boreholes are, so they're not going to pick up, yeah, the pitter-patter of rain or lightning or stampeding buffalo. This one here is uh, 681 feet deep where they have the monitors here. This is about average for all of them. Um, 661 feet. Sometimes they're Oh, about 650 feet, but that gives you a good idea. And they got a top that's sealed with cement. So, yeah, this activity is not caused by the pitter-patter of rain. It looks like it's still ongoing. Here we have Maple Creek. You can see all the spikes there. Uh, western Boundary. Uh, let me try and pull this and extract that to show you. Yeah. Okay, and then the one at the bottom is again the borehole for a Yellowstone Lake. We'll extract that. Let me bring it over. Let me pull this over for you if I can. There we go. All right. I'll zoom in. Can I pull it over? Yeah. And then we'll extract some more. Yeah. This one at the top, that is Holmes Hill. Okay, there's that one earthquake. Okay. So that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, you can see we got some areas where it's sunny. And over here in the back looks like the rain's coming down. Yeah, and the different geysers going off the line of dead trees over here. And then over there. This here is the Firehole River. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, more of the same. Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. Oh, they're looking at um, line, Linus again. Yeah, waiting for that one to go off. I don't know if it, it did, but it was supposed to go off earlier. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. You can see the camera shaking a little bit, but that might be the wind. I don't see the trees moving. If it was heavy winds, oh, it stopped. Did it stop? Yeah, it stopped. Um, but like I said, they're supposed to have winds up to 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, any thoughts, questions, or comments, yeah, put it down below. Thank you again. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you.